Hey, so uh, yeah, turns out they were they were they were, they're were fucking right. <laughs> I I actually just uh, I've been parking in the wrong spot for like for a week or two. Uh, and I just didn't know. Even even Dalton when I came when I went out there, I guess he heard what I said, and he was saying like, no, there's no there's no. There are no letters out there for what spot to park in. And then we go out there and it's like, oh, yeah, they're there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's right fucking there. Just never noticed that they're all labeled. All the, all the covered spots are labeled. That's what I didn't realize is because most of the spots are free for all. But the, love, the covered ones are all assigned. But, uh, oops, <laughs> my bad. Almost got my car towed because no one... The landlord didn't fucking tell me that. Ugh, whatever. Ugh, that guy. He's in no condition. No condition. He's not in a condition. And that monster's bound to find him. I have to go after him. What? What? You hear that? That's just... Telling me where he is, I guess? Oh, that's my heartbeat. Oh. Wait, did he say where he was going? Did I... <laughs> this is a problem with, with interrupting yourself with dr going and driving your car. Especially with a manual. You know, it takes a little... Takes a little I'm having deja vu. Weird. D, there you are. Thank goodness. I'm having fucking crazy deja vu. I'm having... I don't know if you've had this before. I'm having deja vu of having deja vu... Of having deja vu. Of having... I don't know how many times that would be. Like, I remember the original and having remembered having that. And having remembered having having that. Like, fucking three degrees I'm having deja vu right now. Which is really a weird feeling. I, al I told you I'm psychic. I always knew. At least I wasn't a genius or anything. I wasn't... What? But... <laughs> But why didn't they just say it? I respected Professor Andrew, because he always supported me. Sure, I'm kind of dumb. I've been teased constantly for it. I failed the damn test five times. I'm a failure. But aren't I free to dream? I've always dreamt of being a lawyer. That's why I still study so hard. Why did it have to be like this? Was everything I did for nothing? I don't know what to do anymore. The... That's when you know it's a glitch in the matrix. Dude, that's like... I'll tell you something. This is... This is... Just a little bit... Just between me and you. Don't tell anybody. But, uh... Whenever... Whenever I dream... I don't dream often. You might... Well, okay. This isn't... This hasn't been the case lately. Uh... But uh, most of the time, I don't dream, like, at all. And when I do dream... Um... It's always something that ends up happening. Like, I will dream... And it'll just be some boring shit where I'm talking around having a conversation with someone. And then, like, a week or two later, that conversation will happen word for word. Now, that's not that strange, because obviously if I'm dreaming about it, it's on my mind. It's going to come up in conversation. But, I mean, you know, maybe, I'm, uh, maybe I really am psychic. Maybe it's not a joke. That's life, isn't it? Or you shouldn't give up. You know, I'd like to say normally, like, you shouldn't give up. You know, you re you shouldn't give up. Never give up. Ever. But at the same time, you've taken the test, what, s six times? Five times? I don't know, man. I mean, like, you're doing something wrong, right? You're doing something re really wrong. I... I don't know if I want to say you shouldn't give up. Then again, the second answer was the real choice last time. But, uh... I'd have to... I'd, I'd need more information, right? Why do you want to be a lawyer, right? Like, if, if he just wants to be a lawyer because he helps people, well, it's like, well, you can find something better. <laughs> you know? Maybe it's not for you. But, uh... You, should, you shouldn't give up. Never give up. D. You just gonna give up your dreams because other people make fun of them? Fucking pussy. You can't give up. You wanna be a lawyer? And don't give up over some teasing. You're still young and full of life. 
Me. I know I chased my dreams recklessly when I was a student. I'll support you towards your dream. So good luck. And don't give up. Damn, I just dream about big titty goth GFs. <laughs> Yo, I hear you. That's actually, I do hear you. That's what I was going to say. You know how I said it's until recently? Recently, like basically all my life, I've only had dreams that were things that ed later ended up happening. But like the last couple years, you know, even uh, specifically very recently, you know, especially with like not masturbating anymore, sexual dreams have started occurring. I don't like them. I don't like them. If you never had them before, most people don't get them. That's the weird thing. Most people don't get them because they use up all their fucking sexual energy by jacking it 24-7. You stop doing that and your dreams get weird. Good luck. You're wishing me good luck? The hell do you know? We just met! I'd keep trying whatever the hell you say. I'd keep trying whatever the hell you say. Oh, I see. But what's it done for me? Nothing! I sure as hell know I got that I gotta try harder. You got that? Don't talk smack just because you got a couple years on me. Good luck. I don't need it. D, calm down. Oh, calm down! I'm calm as hell. Nuts to you. <laughs> Nuts to you. Nuts to you for buttoning in like you know anything. Forget about me already. Like you know jack about how I feel. Leave me the hell alone. D, wait. Ooh. Oh, wrong answer. <laughs> wrong. I gave the wrong answer. I, 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 I think I gave the wrong answer. You'd never understand how I feel. Yeah, unless I hit myself on the head a couple times, you big dummy. Yeah, he stabbed me. Man. <laughs> Why are we shaking in tandem? You just made fun of me. You're just like everyone else, pretending to be my friend. Don't, don't follow me anymore. Leave me, I can't follow you, you fucking stab me. Nobody should care about me. <laughs> See you fucking get. He should be able to fight it, he's got a knife though. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. nope, can't do it. This is what's supposed to happen or did I get a bad ending? I feel, I, feel like, I feel like I got a bad ending. It was you. Ooh. It was you. You killed him. That says him. Bad end two. Never ever give up. Oh. Huh. Okay. So I mean, if the voice in my head is is correct, then I guess the that crooked man guy is just a figment of my imagination, and it's actually me going insane, and I killed. Oh fuck! I didn't. Oh fuck! Shit. Shit. Did I really not save since then? Fuck. Stop fucking coughing. All right, well, there wasn't, honestly, the thing is, there wasn't that much gameplay since then. There was just a lot of, uh, there was just a lot of talking. I can skip past the talking. Should have saved, yeah, should have saved. Should have saved. That's definitely right, yes. Time to speed through everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I? Is there like a skip? Did I just skip? Ooh. No. No. Uh. It's quick. We'll go quick. The spooky factor has risen. This is good. This is honestly a pretty good fucking game. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. Like, ooh, okay. 
It's honestly pretty good. Oh yeah, this is the part. Yeah, this this is it right here. Oh yeah, we're like not even that far away. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It feels like it was a long time. It was not that bad. Have you finished Corpse Party with your friends? Nope. Nope. I wish. I should really play that. But, uh, nope. Because one, one friend of ours still goes to school. <laughs> he didn't drop out like everybody else. What is he fucking doing with his life? He doesn't know. That's, that's, the, that's the thing is he does not know what he's doing with his life. Where did I need to go? Again? Let me save. What room was it? Uh, ooh, it was... What room were we just in? <laughs> Does anyone remember? I don't, I have no idea. I do not remember what room we were in. He's trying to get a good job, I guess. No, he's not. He's fucking in graphic design. Graphic design is one of the most worthless degrees you can get. And even people who have graphic design degree degrees say that. People who have jobs doing graphic design kind of work, like, plead people. Like, please do not get a graphic design degree. It's worthless. Lecture hall. Thank you. Memory of a goldfish. Hey, I tried. Never give up. Gender studies is a useless degree. Well, yeah, but they're about the same, honestly. As far as usefulness. Alright, don't pick this don't pick the bad choice here. No, yeah, it's absolutely his graphic design job is worthless. I, there's, it's that's not why he's doing it. Oh, well, okay, I picked the right choice. That's life, isn't it? I mean, you weren't cut out for it. That I mean that's that's the, that's like the real answer. What? Just looking at you irritates me. Maybe it reminds me myself. You need to wake up! Aren't there enough hopeless idealists in the world as it is? You shut the hell up. Yeah, I'm stupid, but I'll keep studying. Everyone's lacking in something or another. In your case, <laughs> it was intelligence. You goddamn... You want a piece of me? In my case, it was my eyes. Oh, his eyes weren't good enough to be a pilot? Huh? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a test pilot. I studied hard and made it to flight school. But I was colorblind. Oh. Hmm. Strange, isn't it? Just a few colors you can't see and suddenly you have no right to fly. <laughs> it seems obvious to me now. But back then, I just couldn't accept it. So I killed myself. I faked my vision results to get into the school. Spent three years playing innocent. Even managed to get a, to be an honor student. But I was found out. On the day of the pilot exam, no less. That day I was reduced from an honor student to a filthy traitor. I dropped out and now I'm just some nobody clerk. I don't mind if you still want to be a lawyer. I just want you to say something. Oh, I just want to say something. Don't trap yourself by narrowing the road. Ain't it rough? Wasn't it your childhood dream? It certainly was hard. It still is. But looking at you, I realized. It's not much, but I make my own money. I got a girlfriend. No, he doesn't. I drink with my buddy on weekends. I enjoy my life for what it is. I didn't want to recognize I'd been set back. But I can't deny where I am now. Nor all the work I put in back then. Are you happy with what you've done now? Hey, what you have now? Yes. Though I didn't quite notice it. My life is how I choose it to be. So I shouldn't regret it. How about you? Ooh, excuse me. I won't give up. Because, because it's always been my dream to be a lawyer. I see. Dude, I like how you tell him never to give up, he fucking stabs you. You tell him to give up, and he's like, well, I'm not gonna give up. But if I fail, that's it! I made up my mind. I'll give up for good then, but it won't mean those three years were a waste. Oh, if he doesn't pass the next one. Mm. Yeah, of course. Is there any point to staying here? Let's go. I'll take you home if you want. 
Yeah, thanks. David, what's up? Monster. Hey, what? Hey, David! D, get out of the school. I'll keep him away. Got it? The hell? No, let's go together. This guy's bad news. He chased me. Who knows how many miles. It's me this monster is after. I'll take care of it. All right. Ooh, about time, fucker. You just won't die, will you? I'll finish you off this time. Thank you for letting me save. Thank you. Dude, I got some range. Oh, 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 oh. We fucking stop doing that. Fuck, he's actually like... Okay, alright, I see. He's doing the little burst thing now, so you gotta be careful. Fuck! Did I get him or did I... I died. Yeah, at least let me save. <clears throat> what? Ooh, oh, ooh, ooh, I was reading chat. Ooh. Fuck. <laughs> that was a bad start. Well, uh, just kill me. Just kill me. I think we're going to be stabbed. No, 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 no. Well, unless that's what this guy's doing. I don't really know what he's doing. <laughs> I didn't know I could hit him from the side. Alright, here we go. Perfect. Watch this. You ever seen a master at work? Fucking fighting master. You can't touch me. Whoa, whoa, I got stuck. Don't worry about it. It happens to everybody. Even the best of us. Because I'm the best of us. Ooh, 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 ooh. I gotta be careful around those corners. Those are the parts where it's most likely to fuck up. In fact, I shouldn't even... Nice, 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 nice. David, you're so damn slow. You sure you're all right? Yeah, beat the shit out of him. Hang on, David, I'll come save you. Don't even worry about it, man. Is this guy gonna kiss me before he leaves? You startled me, dude. You are you okay? You finished that thing off? Yeah, somehow. But I don't think it's done yet. I feel like it'll come back again. Wh what? What do you mean again? Didn't I tell you? It followed me all the way from a distant hotel. I don't think this is over yet. Uh, I don't get it, dude. But, uh, you going somewhere now? I'd like to, but I don't have a destination. The guy I'm looking for wasn't here, so I don't know where he could be. It's D. He's right in front of you. It was him. It was probably him. Hey, hold on. I actually found this earlier. Any help? Got a paper with an address. Oh, it's not him? Where'd you find this? Found it in the basement. The paper looks pretty new, so I thought maybe you dropped it. Place of regret. Do you know where this is? No clue. I think it's pretty far from here. Take about a day to drive. <laughs> they just do that so it's constantly nighttime. As long as every day is one drive long, because he's not gonna stop for a hotel or something or something, you know, something smart like that, then it's always nighttime. Hold on. You said you're looking for who exactly? Ain't it dangerous driving around this late? Why do you want to meet him? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. Though, I have sort of an excuse. Huh? My point is, it doesn't r really matter why I want to meet him. It's just right now, it feels like I have to. I have to go. Alright, take care of yourself. Is your house far? I'll take you there. Don't worry about it. Okay. Alright. Wait! Here's the kiss. Well, that does not look good. If we meet again sometime, you want to have a drink or something? Of course. <laughs> okay, all right. Scene. How many scenes are there? Is this a classic three-act structure? Are we getting very close to the end of this game? I'm just curious how I should how I should get how I should divvy this up. Hmm. 
Hmm. Is that my phone? I was sound as you're not driving, right? Nice car, by the way. <laughs> Very nice car. Nice, absolute, perfect rectangle car. It was Shirley. She called me again? What could she want this late? Maybe she, she wants to fuck you if she's calling this late. Maybe she'll call again tomorrow. I gotta go. Probably not. She'll find somebody else. That whore. A hospital, huh? <laughs> really? A hotel, a school, and a hospital. I mean, it's classic, but it's also, like, oh, a little overdone, almost. Right? Like, it's... It's classic. Must be abandoned, or else it's got terrible upkeep. What's with him in these creepy places? Should I go in? No. <laughs> no, you should leave. Can you leave? Can you leave? You can't leave? Why can I go around here this time? Weird. No, you should leave. But... I can't do that. Gotta, gotta discover the mystery. Gotta figure out what happens. Gotta die. Gotta get bad end three. Not operational. Seems to be stopped at floor four. Map of the inpatient building. Ooh, that's a little bright. Uh... Yeah, I mean, like, do you expect me to memorize that? Or what? Because I mean, I guess I kind of can memorize the layout since it's always the same numbers just based on the different floors so that's okay it'd be nice if i could just pick that up silent hill style but outpatient clinic has a number lock is this lock battery operated it's not working so the batteries must be dead well the place is abandoned okay look out for batteries the map doesn't help me much anyway because i still gotta fucking check every single door right now they're all painted okay all those are painted over painted over Paint it over. Paint it over. Blood. Alright, well this seems good. Well, this seems like, yep, classic horror. Uh-huh. It's a dark, there's dark red writing on the bed, likely blood. Do not mourn them. Do not avert your eyes. It is happier for them. I have saved them. Dude, that'd take a lot of blood to write that much. Unless you got like a pen. Them? Who's them? Why is this bed so dirty? Pan it over. Pan it over. Okay, so the entire second floor... I didn't check this, though, did I? Locked. Okay, so, yeah, like, the entire second floor, all those little rooms are worthless. Good to know. Paint it over. Paint it over. Ooh. Magazine rack, ten years. Okay. If I cannot stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live... Or if I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin upon his nest again, again, I shall not live in vain. Emily Elizabeth Dix. Okay. All right. Well. They're all closed. <laughs> A cat. Oh. Dead animals. <laughs> Were these its kittens? Were they cut out of its stomach? Who could have... A dead cat. Its stomach has been cut open. The poor thing. I can't look. Why would you do this? Wait, there's something in here. A key. Take it. Take it. You gotta take it. Oh, sorry. Got a bloody key. Who fucking hides their... I like how it's like, like, I can imagine exactly how this happened. Everybody's in this situation. Your, your cat eats your key. Your pregnant cat eats your key. And you're like, well, fuck, I'm going in. Cut her open, get the keys. There's no other way to do that. Sorry. I can't think of any other possible way to get that key out of there. And then they got grossed out. They cut the cat open. They, they went through all that trouble. And then they were like, oh, well, you know, that was actually pretty gross. I don't want to stick my hand in that cat. Sorry. Kind of a waste, but, uh, sorry. Some sort of dried fluid might be vomit. I can't, 
can't walk in it. I don't want to get on my shoes. Another another ghost. Found a notebook scrap. I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always. Only there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I can only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. It's his notebook, no doubt. I just... No doubt he was here, but is he here now? Maybe. Are we actually close to the end of this game? Does anyone know? If anyone knows, I would like to know. If anyone knows if we're close to the end of this game, I would like to know that because it will determine whether or not I should like... Well, it, it, it'll determine how long we keep going with this, you know? Because maybe if there's like a ton of this game left... Then I should like switch to something else for like a an hour or two and then finish this next time or something I don't, know, I don't know, but if there's like an hour left or less then like fuck let's let's finish it. Okay, that's locked All of these are worthless, right? What am I doing? They're all worthless um, But I can't get through there. What's the key for bloody key can't read the tag uh, well, I mean, this center room is locked. I think there was another room on, like, the third floor that wasn't just painted over. We've been in there. Oh, did we do the second, the center room for the fourth floor? Or did I just skip right past that? That's probably what it is. No. Okay, this is the cat room. No, it's not. This is the cat room. No, it's not. Did, what? Oh, that it's right. It's down the stairs. Okay. So it might have been one of the ones right before the cat room. You know? And I didn't notice it because... Really? I wish I had the map to where I could just... Dude, I'm, gonna f I'm, I'm about ready to draw a fucking diagram so I know for sure which rooms are worthless. All of these here are worthless, right? I'm not going crazy. They're all painted over. Except that one. Right? Right? Second floor center room. I tried that. It's the same four floors over and over. How could you forget all this? It's not like I thought I checked every single one. Like, what's left? There's some on the fourth... I mean, like, there's some on the fourth I didn't check just now, but... Paint it over. Paint it over. Paint it... Oh, is it the elevator? No. Because that does oh, but there is a trunk there. Wait a minute. Do I have to use the key? Oh. It's one of the keys that you have to use manually. I see. <laughs> That's why. What? Seriously? Okay. So that means it's a key to something that is not marked. What fucking room was it where I could go in? Yeah, that means it's a it's a it's a key to something. Okay, so all of those are worthless. On the fourth floor, it's only the vomp. Maybe it's this drawer. No. So okay, let me just let me just say this aloud so I remember it. Fourth floor, everything except the vomit room has nothing in it, and there's nothing in the vomit room. So I'm going to say, first floor, fourth floor, only the center room. Behind the counter on the first floor. You sure? Was there actually anything there? Oh, that's a doorway. Oh, that's a, that's a doorway. Probably a locker or something. There's going to be some, someone in one of these. Yep. That's it. Wonder if there's anything inside. It's a simple lock so I could get it open without a key. Wait, really? But I have a key. <sighs> okay, so I need some sort of tool. A crowbar or something. Lost and found. Nothing in there? No nothing useful in there? Oh. Oh, one of these! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. These are the fucking easiest. 
Yeah, that was, that was the easiest shit in the world. I love those puzzles. Go to the cafeteria. Got the cafeteria key and the elevator trunk key. Okay. Perfect. I know where those are. Except it's not here, right? He didn't just keep the tools with him. Yeah, that's, that's not it. Yeah, I don't, understand, I don't understand that one. Wait, we've been in the cafeteria, haven't we? No. Yeah, I don't know why he would just... He doesn't keep anything with him. Like, he didn't keep the knife. He doesn't have the knife again. I mean, look at his inventory. He, he keeps all these fucking pieces of paper. And he keeps his smokes. He keeps his cell phone that he's not once used to call the police. But he doesn't keep a knife. Like, he even said... Or, this is actually, like, stupidity to an extreme level. Because it's one thing to say, like, Oh, I killed the guy. Now I don't have to worry about it. So I don't need the knife. But he actually said out loud, I don't think this is over. I think he's going to come after me again. And then made the decision, I'm going to not take all these the, this shit I just beat him up with with me. Like, he's actually retarded. Like, he's a, he actually has brain damage if he, if he thinks like that. Do we need... Do we need... Oh. Some... Oh, okay. <laughs> Something was in the can. We got a small wire, which I assume we used to maybe lockpick the locker? Because maybe that what he meant by it was simple. It's simple enough that even somebody who doesn't know how to lockpick it could lockpick it. Maybe. What was the other key for? Um, oh, right, right, right. The elevator, which is on the fourth floor. There doesn't seem to be that many uh, floors here. I wonder if that, like, maybe the down, like the south-facing thing on the, fir for on the first floor maybe go somewhere else. AED. Automated external defibrillator. Half charge. Open the lid and took out the battery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. That makes sense. Okay. Luckily, those use the same sort of battery as a door. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's just a normal, it's not even a ghost. That's just a regular kid. It's just a normal kid. Nothing scary about it. What are you doing here? Are your mom and dad not around? Did you come here alone? Then he fucking disappears. Uh, are you mute perhaps? Mama said not to talk to strangers. Ah, well then I'll introduce myself. <laughs> I'm David. I'm 26 years old. I live kind of far from here. My hobby is watching baseball, I guess. Oh, I like baseball too. Mama gave me a glove, so I play every Saturday. Whoa, I'm jealous. <laughs> What's your name, little guy? Fluff, Fluffy. Fluff, Fluffy? That's your... That's your name? Yeah, Mama says my hair is fluffy like a towel, so fluffy. Let me see... Where's your mama, Fluffy? Is it, Did the cat die and become a child ghost? You know what? Or you don't know? Did you not come here with her? Uh, well, we were going back home, and I was walking right by Mama, and, I, and she went to get something she forgot. I didn't want to wait outside, so I came in here to sing, but Mama hasn't come back. So you got lost. Is your house close to here? My house is close to school, but you can't see school from here, so I guess it's probably far. Right. You're really something... Really something to have waited here all alone. Wait, a kid lost late at night. I think there's a sheriff's office nearby. Maybe I should take him there. Hey, Fluff... Why Fluffy? What the fuck? It's scary in the dark, isn't it? How about you go with me to Mr. Policeman? Okay, let's go. No, he can't leave. The, he can't leave. He's a ghost. He can't leave. What's wrong, Fluffy? I'll have Mr. Policeman show you... Or he was raped by a policeman. Show you a patrol car. Don't you want to come along? I'm not scared of the dark. I'm a big boy. You're the scaredy cat, aren't you? What the fuck do you even mean, kid? Better give chase, I guess. Then again, maybe his mom will find him. I don't want to be questioned by the police again. Again? I'll take him somewhere safe if I see him. Again? Am I forgetting something? Nope. Oh. Alright, yeah, let's just, uh... 
Could we have just ignored him before? Like, could we have just kept walking down, ignored him, and that would have just not happened? Stick the battery in. Oh, I don't know the number, but it's probably in the locker. Which is this way. He said, anyway, not again. Oh, I just can't read. Unlocked it with the wire. Yep. Lockpick. <clears throat> Got a note about a lo number lock. Yeah, okay. Uh, which, which fucking note is that? This one? No, 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 it's not that one. Oh, four, four, eight, nine. Got it. <laughs> that was selective vision. I was looking for ones I could click on, so that one just like didn't show up in my head. You know what I'm talking about. That's a pretty quick area. I'm wondering if it's going to get bigger now. Like, that seemed like a pretty small cabinet's locked. Something on the desk. Is that a fucking axe over there? Pick that shit up. A hammer. Get that. Looks heavy. Don't want to be lugging this around. Maybe I'll find some... No! What the... You fucking moron. Why would you not... You're, like, you're convinced that someone is going to come and attack you. Some monster. And you're worried about, oh, it's too heavy. Maybe I'll find a use for it. Yeah, maybe when you need to, like, defend yourself against the monster. I received a puzzle box the other day. Rather interesting thing. To open it, you need to arrange letter pieces to form a word. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink real quick. Of course, I made the key word my favorite word. That irreplaceable thing which always makes me happy, just to say. In fact, I should show my box to my daughter. Favorite word, irreplaceable thing that always makes me happy just to say. Unbelievable! When I showed my daughter the puzzle box, she hit all the pieces. But what's inside isn't really something you use every day, so it's not a huge deal. She actually gave me hints on where they are, but I can't find any. Maybe when I have time. Scrap of paper with hints. Great. Flowers are nice. Wash your hands. Where do you have lunch? Give me a call. The nurses know, get close to the sky. <sighs> okay, so like a garden, a sink, the cafeteria, the phone, the nurse's office, and the roof. All right. Oh, what? The way of a modern family, family and medicine. Hmm. Hmm. Women's bathroom locked. Men's bathroom locked. Well, busted. Ooh, th yeah, this is big. Uh, okay. So there's a bunch of operating rooms there, and then every other room is, like, different. We're on the... Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot of shit. That's not a layout that's as easy to memorize, because, like, all these rooms are actually different. And, yeah, these are actually... This is actually locked and not just painted shut, which doesn't make any sense. You know, I mean, I guess it's a good way to just tell you that the room is never going to be useful, so you don't keep checking it. Oh, here's... Okay. There you are, Fluffy. Don't you know not to wander off alone? I can handle the dark fine. I told you, I'm a big boy. I'm not going to cry like some baby. Nobody fucking said that, Fluffy. Why, you sure do seem brave, Fluffy. I have to admire that. Really? Yeah, you're as brave as Captain America. <laughs> you think that was in the original? You think the Japanese said you're Captain America? You think they said, like, Captain Nip? I'm kind of scared of walking in the dark. Here I am, a rape man. The uh, national hero of Japan. I'm kind of scared of walking in the dark, but here I am looking for someone. If only I had... If only there were someone here I could depend on. Just my luck. Okay, I'll go with you, Mr. David. Wow, really? What a relief. I feel so much safer with you here, Fluffy. I'll protect you. We'll stick together until his mother shows up. If she doesn't, share us off it is. is. Cool. Party member. Ghost kid acquired. Yep, 
Is the is the kid gonna make a comment on everything we we uh, click on now? What's he doing with his arms? Never mind. It's not important. Uh, fucking ignore him. Oh, this is a good. <laughs> this is a good. It's a good room. I have a good feeling about the operating rooms. There's nothing in them though. There's nothing in them. All right. Well, it's a little less scary when you have someone with you. You know what I mean? Like, even though it's a kid, it's like, what are they gonna fucking kill the kid? I don't think so. Oh, there's one of the pieces. F. Okay. Ooh. 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 You remember how he said it was his? He said the. He said. Mm, he said the puzzle box was based off his favorite word that makes him feel feel good even saying about it. First letter F. That's a good sound, by the way. Wait, we're we just walking to the bathroom with this kid. That's not okay. You shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't be doing what you're doing. Now we're both going into the women's bathroom. Mm-hmm. I'm saying it's fuck. I'm saying his favorite word. Is that a fetus? Oh, model. A baby? Looks like a monkey. Well, babies are kind of like that. <laughs> small shelves. There's something here. Small key. Small key on a small shelf. It's more than four letters, ding dong. F maybe it's, uh, f fucking. Huh? You ever think of that? Maybe it's fucking. <laughs> Maybe his favorite word is fucking. F-U-C-K-I-N. And he does it does put a smile on his face every time he thinks about fucking. And that's why he was showing it to his daughter, because he's a fucking freak. There's a combination down there. Mmm. 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 My mother told me I was born here. She called it a place of happiness. But for me, it's a place of regret. <laughs> I wish I could kill my child self back when I was pure, when I thought everyone loved me. That's fucking... That's harsh, man. That's, uh... That's a bit much. Uh, that's... You should, uh... Chill out, man. Not try and kill your... Your, your kid self. Uh, okay, so it seems like we need... Well, no. I was gonna say it seems like we need to get all of the pieces right now. Right? We got the F. It seems like we need to get the other ones. But, uh, at the same time, we don't even have the thing that, we, that needs to be opened. Let's go check the map real quick. What do we, wait, what do we have in our inventory that can be used? Right. We got a bloody key. Don't know where it goes. We just got the small key. Also don't know where it goes. Okay, so we need it's something with a small key. Oh, probably that locker. Yep. There's a cabinet. Chemical closet. Okay, where's the map? Yeah, like this doesn't feel scary at all. It it kinda is really weird how it changes the atmosphere. Oh, to all mothers carrying babies. Please stop abandoning children in front of the hospital. Six precious lives have been lost this month alone. Holy shit. A plea from the hospital. Please stop leaving your babies here. Six of them died. That's fucked up. Who, <laughs> Who fucking just leaves a baby in front of a hospital? Is the one next to it the map? I thought it was right here. Oh yeah, okay. Um, chemical closet. That's the basement. Okay. This town has shit mothers. It's fucked up, man. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. Don't you ever fucking sing that song to me, Fluffy. They all lived together in a crooked little house. There was a crooked man, huh? Yeah, Mama taught it to me. I like to sing, so I sing lots. And I like that song. See. What is it, mister? 
I actually learned it as a kid, too. I didn't like it very much. Why not? It just felt like a sad song to me. The guy's been crooked his whole life, and all he's got around him is crooked stuff. I was scared to think, what if I was a crooked man? Only when I was a kid, of course. I don't get it, mister. <laughs> Sorry for singing a sad song. No, it just remind me of that. You're a good singer, Fluffy. You sing with your mama? Yeah, mama likes to sing, too. It's fun to sing with her. Do you sing, too, David? No, I'm no good. You better off not hearing me try. Uh, so wait, wait, I just saved her right there. What? Aconite root extract, Miracis capsules. I don't know any of these. The newbie, Steve, made a fine mess. He spilled some hydrogen bromide and made a hole in the wall. I told him the stuff could eat through iron. You better pay me back for this. Is that a hint? Does that mean one of these walls where I can't see shit because it's in 2D? I need the... Or is it saying I should take some... Oh, I need to take some bromide. That's what it is. Yep. I need to take some hydrogen bromide so I can burn through some walls. Estrogen? What are these for? What are these for? You don't want to know, buddy. Tryptanol. Mom took this stuff. What did they say it was for again? I don't know, man. Bromide does not, it does not seem to be here. But really, though? Really? Wait, so the only, wait, so the only thing in here is a thing talking about hydrogen bromide, and you're telling me none of these have hydrogen bromide in them? Uh, really? Did it say what room they made the hole in? The newbie made a hole in the wall. Which wall? This wall? That wall? Which wall? I can't... Okay, so that one won't open. So that would lead me to believe that I need to go through, like, one of these. You know? But they're not... It's not broke. Oh, God. Amitriptyline is a... Tri why? why? Dalton, Dal I, I don't care. <laughs> what are you... Why why you tell me this? Thanks. Thanks for the information. Uh uh counseling room key. Okay. Where's that? Going to bed. Good luck with the crooked man. Thanks. Good night. Uh that's none of these. That must be back? I, I guess that's back in the other part of the hospital? There must have been one room we missed? Yeah. Oh, for, fourth floor center. Okay. If the wall is weakened, you might be able to break it with a hammer. That's what I was thinking, but like, what wall is it that you need to do? You're right, though. I should go try and pick up that hammer and maybe the game will let me now. But we got this. This is something to do. Ooh, huh? I just saw a shadow. Was it my imagination? What's up, Mr. David? It's nothing. Just a ghost. Don't worry about it. Ghosts aren't real, so you don't have to worry about them. Counseling schedules. Oh, that's not important. Counseling. Okay. There's a lone diary. 12-3. 3.35 p.m. Tape 15. Subject, Visitor A. That's his, that's his full name. Garen, Garen Tor. Oh, for a relative in room 409. Oh, I see. Contents. A. Visited after sudden change in patient's condition. Patient was hospitalized upon identified brain illness. Surgery deemed necessary due to declining health. The patient still thinks herself healthy. It's, it's my mom. Healthy, which causes A a great deal of distress. Her memories of A are also vague. Definitely my mom. A sought A sought counseling on how to cope. The patient misunderstood it as A abandoning her. She cries and screams, her mind unstable. Either that or this kid has, has the same problem and it's the kid. Counseling will likely continue for both. Tape 16, subject visitor A, room 413. A visit A visited after patient's death. Oh, it's not my mom. He lament, unless I'm crazy. He lamented that given she was going to die, he couldn't watch over her at home. He stated that living 
in itself is not happy. So if life is agony, then wanting death is unavoidable. Should I refuse him as a doctor or tolerate it as a person of dignity? I wish he would come back here, but ultimately I can't force him. Hmm. I wonder if this kind of thing happens a lot. Was that a storybook? No. Psychiatry key. I think that's in the main building. Or the, the other the out outpatient. Inpatient? One of them. <laughs> We don't have the hammer anymore. Yeah, we don't, but there's that big hammer that he didn't want to pick up because he's stupid. We could pick up that one. Once we figure out where to bust through, which I think is probably in one of these other th places we're going to. Um, what was it? What was it? Psychiatry, right? Yeah, okay. Making sure I'm not completely losing my memory. Yeah, fourth floor. 